I have called all of my Ignite weaponry into the situation because it's about to go down. This post is going to ignite conversation. Somebody somewhere is going to say, you know what? Somebody need to stop letting Jason log into Instagram because all he do is get shit started. I promise you I'll be doing the Lord's work. I am doing all of the Lord's work by bringing this to your attention. We are all standing here together for this issue tonight. OG Evelyn Lozada. Y'all know we just had Evelyn on the show. Everybody's up in arms with Evelyn because OG is claiming that she's racist. Now I've done my research and I take pride in saying that I'm the king of tea and that I'm the king of receipts. And I've done my, deep, my research. I've asked my team to look high and look low. And I've looked in every place I could look and I still can't find where Evelyn has done something racist. Yet you guys have unleashed this cancel culture on the girl trying to say that she's a racist because OG said she's a racist. Who the fuck is OG? I'm not trying to be shady. I swear to God I'm not. I'm just asking because I don't know because I just know so many people and I've been around for such a long time that I just don't know what an OG is. I know an OG is an old gangster. And I don't know that that's a part of the conversation. But anyway, I digress. It's not about OG. This is about the fact that I'm watching women tear down another woman of color who has black children claiming that she's a racist and a colorist. I'm going to tell you what's sad. And it's our people that be using that colorist shit against each other. Latinos and other people of the brown community, although they may not have had the black experience, have had the black experience. The experience of being treated like a second class citizen. The experience of being looked at when you walk in the store like you stealing. The, the, the experience of being judged and being treated secondary to white people. Yet black folks, we forget that. We forget that we need Mexicans in our country. We forget that people who are Puerto Rican or Dominican or from another third world country, or another country like a Jamaica or Africa are not treated the same as white folks. Yet we are the main ones trying to tear them down whenever we get a chance. Now, all of y'all on here on Instagram, y'all know who Evelyn Lozada is. Whether you like her or love her, you wouldn't watch Basketball Wives if she wasn't on the motherfucking show. So some girl comes out of nowhere and in a show that's produced... And because she now has created the narrative that she believes Evelyn Lozada is a racist... What, because she wore braids? What, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans in New York don't wear braids? I just came from New York. You mean to tell me that there ain't Spanish people wearing braids? You mean that white rapper Riff Raff who was wearing braids didn't get called out for colorism? Or what about Bo Derek who was running down the beach back in the 80s? She wasn't, she wasn't, that wasn't uh, 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 taking our, 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 our heritage or taking something from our community. Y'all need to stop it or show me the receipts. We need EEOTs, equal oper e equal. Wait, is that it? Oh, e equal opportunity trollers, EOTs. That's what we need. We need EOTs, people who equal opportunity troll. Because the same person that's claiming claiming colorism is the same person that was weaponizing domestic violence and attacking Evelyn about her past with a man who beat her ass. Now, I just need to understand something. Have we not become a society, have we not, are we not a society of facts? Are we not a society of what matters? Have we become a society of bandwagoning and following the leader? Have we given up our leadership and our ability to be leaders and think for ourselves, to follow trends? Is that what we doing? Because I ain't doing it. And you know what? I'm proud to be black. I wouldn't want to wake up tomorrow and be anything other than a black man in America. Because you know what? That struggle that I went through with black people treating me like shit because I wasn't dark enough or because I wasn't all the way black or had different type of hair or... Oh, that's my hair, by the way. That's my real hair. Or from white people who thought I wasn't nothing but a nigga and at 15 accused me of stealing when I wasn't stealing. All of that experience has led me to this opinion. Black people, stop crying wolf. Stop calling colorism every single time something don't smell exactly the way that you smell it. Because all of our experiences are different. And although we need to be uh, uh, understanding and compassionate and empathetic with what everybody experiences in life, 
everything ain't racism and everything ain't colorism. You mean to tell me that Evelyn Lazada, who was accused of calling this girl a monkey, which she did, and she posted an emoji on a post, who birthed a black son, Evelyn got a black son, a black daughter. You mean to tell me that she's racist to all of a sudden? You can't be that stupid. Now, this ain't about sticking up for Evelyn because I don't know Evelyn like that. She's been on my show. I like her. I've been a fan of her on the show, but I've been following her and watching what she does and how she moves. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's highly motherfucking entertaining. But I don't know OG. And I was trained as a kid not to follow strangers. And I'm not going to follow this stranger down the reckless road of colorism. Now, you tell me if I'm missing something. Please drop the receipts below. And please, OG, you are more than welcome to come on my show. And darling, if you do, I need you to explain to me with facts. Because I will not tolerate anybody being victim of the bullshit. Sound off. Oh, and ignite.